So on then to the finals themselves, and dozens and dozens of couples have been competing here pretty well all day since around about lunchtime at this, the world-famous Hammersmith Palais. And only the very best survived to this point in the competition where we come now to the finals. So, who are the finalists in these two championships this year? Well, I'm about to tell you, I've got the details right here. First, the finalists in the Amateur Latin American Championships. And firstly, couple number two, Gia Banker and Trini Daly from Norway. Now, this looks uh, something to me like an innovation, Peggy. I don't think I've ever seen the couples in these competitions dancing solo before. Now, this is something quite new, and the official board of ballroom dancing have given permission for each couple reaching the final of the championships to give a solo performance in order that viewers can see the couple quite lit clearly and have an opportunity to study them before the adjudicators assess them against each other later in the competition session. So the adjudicators are not actually marking on this part? Oh no, oh no. Number 17, Marcus Hilton and Karen Johnston. Young, tall, elegant, and as always, well groomed, well rehearsed, and most attractive to watch. Number 42, Nicholas Cotton and Carolyn Smith. Dynamic, full of life and rhythm, and Caroline looks really Latin with her dedication to body rhythm. American finals this year, couple number 44, Paul Harris and Angela Zeev. And from this couple, a feeling of rhythm oozing from every movement that they make.
medals to go in these amateur finals. Couple number 59, Colin James and Lenny Mickelson. Black and silver matching outfits enhancing most attractive choreography. Couple number 68, Donny Burns and Gaynor Fairweather. Our British champions giving the gay but calculated performance we have come to expect from them. six couples in the finals of the United Kingdom Amateur Latin American Championship. And what they're going to do for us now is, in fact, five dancers, the samba, the rumba, the paso doble, and the jive. But first, here to the music of the resident band, who always star here in this illustrious scout hut, the Hammersmith Palais, Tony Evans and his orchestra. They're going to start with the cha-cha-cha. Okay then, Peggy, six finalists. How many originally entered for this competition? Well, at this morning at 12 o'clock, 81 couples started in the first round. So these couples have had to dance in front of the adjudicators for many rounds to arrive at this situation. This one fascinates me, actually, Peggy, about the, uh, the dancing of this standard. It's an incredible amount of stamina you need, as well as sheer dancing talent, isn't it? It certainly is, because their stamina has got to spread over so many hours, so therefore they must do physical training outside of their dancing training, obviously watch their diet, particularly the girls, to fit into these dresses and show this very clear waistline and hip action. So they must think very carefully about their span of energy. Peggy, this couple we're watching now, couple number uh, 59, they strike me as being particularly attractive. Are they in with a good chance? Not of winning, but it's a fantastic chance that they're in the final. Every couple works to become a finalist, and that's great. But it's also interesting because uh, I believe Lenny, she's Scandinavian. That's she? right, yes. Colin is UK and Lenny is Scandinavian. The other thing I noticed this year, Peggy, is there seems to be a lot less of the girls' dresses than ever before. Well, as we were saying earlier, there, there is a physical situation attached to dancing. All this dancing is not social dancing, it's really physical. And therefore, the girls develop beautiful bodies, they want to show their bodies, and the less dress they have, the easier it is to dance. Yeah, and there seems to be a tremendous fashion this year for showing the backs of the dresses. Yes, yes. Or the, the lack of backs. <laughs> <laughs> lack of back as you say but it does show the waistline it do does show the hip line and really when you track it back it's very similar to the traditional latin dress that the spanish girls wear with a very dropped waistline
samba now. We've got uh, Paul Harris and Angela Zeal, couple number 44 there. How do you rate them, Maggie? Well, I like their dancing very much because they pay particular attention to the fundamentals of the actual dance that they're dancing. And you can very often totally recognize the dance that they're dancing. Sometimes the couples over choreograph and the steps become very complicated. I was just thinking that the samba that I know of attempt, Peggy, bears very re little relation to what we're seeing there. Yes, well, social samba and competitive samba must, of course, be quite different because this is exhibition dancing, it's not social dance. There we see the uh, Norwegian couple now. One thing mystifies me, Peggy, these are the United Kingdom Championships. How come, as much as they're welcome, do we have Norwegians taking part, and Japanese well, the, and Germans? The United Kingdom Championships, Ray, are open to the world. And um, it's particularly interesting to see this Norwegian couple. It's the first time that viewers will have seen them in one of our championship finals. And it would appear that Norway is really producing some high standard dancing because we keep seeing the Norwegian couples in the finals. It always seems odd to me, Peggy, watching this. It's a nice, restrained, sedate sort of atmosphere, and you get all this bawling and shouting of numbers out all the time. It's a tremendous contrast, isn't it? Well, if I can make you understand it, if you were watching a theatre performance, the whole audience applauds the same item at the same time. But here, you have got six items at one time, and they've all got their supporters. And so they will support the number that they like best and shout for that number. I see. the orchestra of Tony Evans giving us a rather laid-back rumba. It sounds rather on the slow side, that to me, Peggy. Not really. It's an excellent rumba, and the competitors will appreciate the care that Tony has taken to choose them. A nice tune with a melody that rides on the actual tempo. The official board of ballroom dancing set the tempo so that competitors practice to the correct tempo and then at a championship it must be played at that speed. Marcus Hilton and uh, Karen Johnston watching there, couple number 17. They're attractive there, Peggy. Very attractive and beautiful body lines. Look at that lovely leg extension and the elasticity in his body as he gives her the leg lines. They really are a most attractive couple to watch. in thought there, Peggy. Matter of interest, how do they go about marking a competition like this? Is it marks out of 100 or what? 
No, in actual fact, the couple receiving the lowest number of marks will be the winner. So, for instance, if Mr. Hancock, who was studying there, thought that Donny Burns was first in his marking, he would place a one and then he beside his number, and then he would place two to somebody else. The numbers cards are then collected from all the adjudicators. They are taken to the scrutineer where they're added up, and the couple with the lowest number of markings, in other words, the most number of first placings or second placings, will be the winner. So they don't mark it on individual categories of talent and dress and movement and those kind of things. It's well, they've got to way. add all that up in their own head as they're looking at it. I would say all those things come into their calculations, but they haven't facilities for putting that on paper. Notice this year in particular, Peggy, about the girls' costumes, they all seem to include a headpiece. Is this a new innovation? It is. Um, it's gradually crept in over the last 18 months because most of the girls are beginning to let their hair grow after we had uh, a spate of very short, sort of fluffy hair. They're letting it grow and they've got a little top knot and they cover up the top knot with some diamante or sequins or a little set piece, which is most attractive to match their dresses. An awful lot of sequins this year too, isn't it? Well, it's the obvious form of decoration, really. It looks classy, it shows, it sparkles. I think it's right. Peggy into the jive, the last dance in this, the amateur Latin American finals. Have you got some clear idea now, Peggy, the first, second and third? Yes, I think our British champions have done enough to win. They've danced very well, very controlled all through the evening. Um, and I think that number 68, Donny Burns and Gaynor Feather will come out as the winners. As for second place, 44, Paul Harris and Angela's Zeal, I think tried a little too hard. They thought they could possibly get that winning place. And as sometimes happens, the strain of dancing for the winning place can make them overdance a little. Whereas Marcus Hilton, number 42, were relaxed, they were elegant. I think they didn't think they could win, and so therefore the pressure wasn't on them so much. And for my markings, I would put them second and Paul Harris, number 44, third. Well, your money for the winner is Donnie and Gaynor. That's right. We'll see if you're right, Peggy. Well, sadly, the dancing is nearly over for this evening, but the tension is really mounting here at the Hammersmith Palais to find out exactly who will be our champions here tonight. I'm going to keep you waiting for just one more nail-biting moment as I introduce the man with uh, the great honour of presenting the prizes for us this evening. Will you welcome, then, the Planning and Distribution Director for Coca-Cola Southern Bottlers Limited, Mr. Ken Gillespie. Okay, and now the moment of truth. The results of the United Kingdom Amateur Latin American Championships 1981. And the judges have awarded in third place couple number 44, Paul Harris and Angela Zeal. Probably a little disappointed at third position. Tried a little too hard, perhaps. But that's how competition life goes. And in second place in this 1981 championship, the runners-up to the new champions, 
couple number 17, Marcus Hilton and Karen Johnston. A highly delighted Marcus and Karen. Well done. And to receive a prize of £250, the 1981 United Kingdom Amateur Latin American Champions are couple number 68, Donnie Burns and Gaynor Fairweather. Our British champions have continued their successful collection of titles. Well done. They are now United Kingdom Latin champions. A well-deserved win. And so let's invite the new United Kingdom Amateur Latin American champions, Gaynor and Robert, to dance us an honor dance.